list of killing Alex Stone reports Gallagher was found guilty of wrongfully posing for a picture with a human casualty. In San Francisco, hundreds of people have taken to the streets to protest U.S. Customs and Border Protection detention centers for immigrants. The protest started around noon near the office of Senator Dianne Feinstein. And a 44-year-old Moreno Valley woman has been arrested on suspicion of felony cruelty to animals. Riverside County Sheriff's deputies discovered dozens of cats and dogs stuffed inside her home while doing a welfare check. 18 cats were found dead. Officials had smelled a strange odor coming from the house and thought there might be a dead body inside. Steve Clawson, California News. With the Capital One Saver Card, you earn 4% cash back on dining and entertainment. Does that include dinner at that new French place? Yep, 4% cash back there. How about bowling with my friends? Yeah, 4% cash back on that too. Nice. And that'll be a rewarding weekend. Because with the Capital One Saver Card, you earn 4% on dining and entertainment. So when you go out... You cash in. Capital One. What's in your wallet? Terms apply. Capital One Bank USANA. It's the oldest tennis tournament in the world and the one all players dream of playing. The tournament in Wimbledon, England is this week's Sports Now. It's this week's Geico Sports Now. Now Sports Now here. The All England Club in Wimbledon has held it every summer since 1877, and it's the only Grand Slam that's still played on grass. Players must stick to a stiff dress coat of all white, supposedly so they don't stand out for anything other than for excellent play. Not a place for fans with jerseys or face paint. Great news. Go to Geico.com and you can save as much as 15% on your auto insurance in as little as 15 minutes. NBC News Radio, I'm Brian Shook. Navy SEAL Edward Gallagher is being cleared of war crimes. A military jury found him not guilty today of murdering a captured ISIS fighter and firing on civilians. Gallagher was convicted of wrongful posing for a picture with a corpse. Government investigators call the situation at overcrowded migrant detention centers a ticking time bomb. The DHS Inspector General issued a report today calling for immediate action to deal with dangerous overcrowding in Rio Grande Valley facilities. Graphic photos taken at one facility show nearly 90 men being held in a cell with a maximum capacity of 41. Authorities in Australia have broken up a terror plot. Three men have been arrested in Australia charged with planning a series of attacks on public buildings and embassies in Sydney. The three were said to be in the early stages of planning the attacks. Australian authorities now say they have thwarted 16 major terrorist plots in the country over the last five years. Bill Zimfer, NBC News Radio. Senator Ted Cruz is slamming Nike after the company pulled a shoe based on Betsy Ross's flag design. The Texas Republican tweeted today he respects the company's decision but thinks they're showing contempt for people who stand for the national anthem and military members. Nike reportedly yanked the shoes after former NFL quarterback Colin Kaepernick and others complained the flag design is associated with slavery. The Los Angeles Angels are reeling from the death of pitcher Tyler Skaggs. Team owner Art Moreno said news of the sudden death was devastating. I mean, it's like a punch in the heart. You really don't. You're so in, in shock. At least four people are reported injured in a shooting at 10 Foreign Mall in San Bruno, south of San Francisco. Police have swarmed the mall, but things seem to be calm and controlled. A spokesman for San Francisco General Hospital said two victims are being treated there. You're listening to the latest from NBC News Radio. I always hear from our clients who hired another firm that they wish they'd hired DNA Financial first. Don't have regrets about your IRS tax case. Just hire the best in the first place. One owed 150000 to the IRS and had spent thousands on another firm. We stopped the levy negotiated a payment plan and had their penalties forgiven. And while every case is different, we guarantee that we'll find your perfect resolution and get it done right. For a free consultation, call us at 866-201-0156. That's 866-201-0156. Then you can say, DNA DNA did did right right by by me. Hello, green tea lovers. It's John Harrison with Do Matcha Matcha Green Tea. Our ceremonial spring harvest matcha green tea is delicate and mild. A green tea rich in antioxidants, a smart choice with breakfast, lunch, or before going to the gym. No calories and great taste. Do Matcha Green Tea. This is John Harrison. Thank you for your time. Need a speaker for a church group? Woman's group?
The Medical Intuitive Miracle Show with Kimberly Meredith. Get ready for a live hour of powerful healing miracles. She's a world-renowned medical intuitive, trance channel, psychic surgeon, and spiritual teacher. Relax and breathe in. You are now entering the fifth dimension. When calling, please do not mention any personal medical details or conditions. Kimberly will use her medical mediumship abilities to remotely detect your medical situation. Please call in now at 818-850-7784. That's 818-850-7784. Hi, welcome to the Medical Intuitive Miracle Show. I'm Kimberly Meredith, your host, medical medium. I'm also happy that you're joining me here today. I'm so happy for this. Welcome to the fifth dimension. My wish for you is that you are filled with God's abundant blessings today and always. I am so very happy to also announce that I've moved into this beautiful building here in Encino, California, right where we're doing the KCA radio show. I've decided to align my whole life right with KCAARadio.com. <laughs> Sorry for being silly. But the Medical Intuitive Miracle Show is now in alignment right with KCAA Radio in Encino. So everything is just totally together. Amen. Also, to book a Medical Intuitive Miracle scan and healing for you, your children, and animals, you can go right on to thehealingtrilogy.com and book your session. And I also do Skypes on Friday and Saturday which is really totally cool. So, by all means, I am here for you. <sighs> you are listening to the Medical Intuitive Miracle Show. You also can get it from 1050 AM, 1023 FM, and 1065 FM. <sighs> I like to breathe a lot like that. It's really fun. <sighs> Let's all take a deep breath in and out. <sighs> <laughs> it's really fun to breathe. Let's all breathe like that, in and out. <sighs> yes, breathing in and out is good. And let's say we're in the fifth dimension. We love being in the fifth dimension, and God is healing us in the fifth dimension. Amen. I'm going to take a few seconds here before we dive more into what's going on today in the show, which I know if you've been watching maybe a little bit or just checking in for the first time for the Medical Intuitive Miracle Show, what we do is we start off the show by having a little introduction to the show. Then we like to take some medical mediumship phone calls. The number is 818-850-7784. 818-850-7784. And we love for you to call in and ask questions about your health and consciousness. And then about 7.30, we start to do a medical scan and healing through spirit. We have a lovely lady here named Anna that's going to be doing that. Before she um, comes in, she does fill out a form about every single thing that she has wrong with her. And she puts it in a secret envelope. And then after I scan her, we open the envelope and we reveal what is gone on in her, and then we evaluate if spirit was completely correct or not. So, this is a super exciting show to witness right now in history what's happening through medical mediumship and healing. So, we're really happy that you're watching. Okay, so moving on. You have a call, oh, we already have a call. That's super cool. So we could take the call right now, already starting off with the show. Let's do that. Let's go right into a call. Here we go. Hello, can I help you? Please yes, state hi. your name. What is your name, please, sir? It, it's Jay. Hi, Jay. How are you? Good. How are you doing? I'm doing really terrific. Can I help you? Well, um, it's interesting. I was just... Uh, I was just driving down and listening to your show, and, um, you know, um, I'm having some medical issues. I guess uh, uh, the broadcaster said you're not supposed to say what they are. I guess you're able to uh, detect what they are, or is it something that we can ask questions about? Something that we already have pre-existing, or... I'm here for you, and, and yeah, I'm here for you in many ways. You can ask something, and the guides will still delve into it and and explain more about it. So we can do that oh, too. Okay. 
Go ahead. Okay. Okay. Great. Sure. So wh- whatever way you, you prefer. Sure. Mm-hmm. So you want to ask me a question about it and I can delve into more about it or, yeah. Yeah. You know, I was involved in an automobile accident on uh, December 31st and um, since I've, I've had uh, major back pain and neck pain, arm pain, and um, <clears throat> essentially uh, going through like the MRIs and stuff, you know, there's some uh, herniated spots in my disc and bulging spots in my spine. Um, <clears throat> but I also have, you know, some nerve issues going on. Um, and and it's, I've never had that before. I've never been sick before, never been, you know, pretty healthy all my life. Um, and, and the nerve pain is like the worst pain ever. It's, right. it's like deep. And it, it almost feels like, uh, I don't know if you've ever, ever had a broken arm or anything, but almost feels like that or, or a Charlie horse that just throbs and never goes away. Um, and even like, I don't like to take medicine or anything. I, I just try to, you know, deal with things naturally just to figure out what's going on naturally, you know, rather than try to mask everything and then not know, okay, well, what was the root problem? You know, cause okay. maybe you have now side effects from everything. Okay. So basically so, your question is, where is the pain coming from? I'm kind of trying to get, because when you're speaking, the guides are blinking and turning my head and giving me numbers. So I, I get uh-huh. downloads of codes through my eyes and my head and my hands and my, you know, I get downloads as people are talking. So are you yeah. trying to communicate to me by asking me questions? Because I'm sure you had an MRI or a CAT scan or I don't yeah. know. But, but they're <clears throat> giving me information that it's coming from your C2, C3, C4, but mainly in the back of your C2, C3, C4, um, that it's going down from there and you get like neuropathy sometimes in your hands and, and you have sort of like occipital neuralgia going on up in your head. Um, so there's a a lot of that going on. They're telling me that through through the downloads that I'm getting. And so, yeah. Um, okay. Yeah. And, and so, you know, part of it is, um, you know, my brain doesn't know exactly what's what's causing it, you know. Well, that's what's causing it. So you, you had an accident, and then I don't know what so what, what you've done to help with it since then. So I don't know if you did chiropractic. I don't know if you've been doing silica gel. I don't know if you've done cold laser. So there's a lot of things yeah. to break it down that you could do differently to help promote an un- Pin, a pinching, you know, the pinchiness and build the silica back up and relieve and, 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 and sort of align your neck back up. So basically the guides are saying you absolutely can be healed with the right therapy and the right healing yeah. and they're blinking move forward. You need to move forward out of this condition and this can happen. Yeah, because a lot of people, and even I think, you know, when does the healing start? It's because it seems like it's getting worse as time goes on, you know, and then, well, what, of course, I don't know what kind of ahead. therapies you're doing, but pain medication, I don't know if you've read about me on my website, you can go to thehealingtrilogy.com. I had injured C2, C3, C4, C5, C6, they wanted to do surgery on me through cold laser, through silica, through, through, through different types of therapies, through God, I was completely healed. And so really? my neck I, doesn't hurt at all. I move it every way. I don't have any pain in my neck, my arms, my back. I'm very, very grateful for my healing. So the go- now, they're, they're you, blinking. Did, that's awesome. Did, did you say that you did the surgery or, or you didn't? No, I never I'm did. Sur- I never did surgery. Oh. And you could go in my files right now and you could order them and look at them. And I was completely injured from my, my, my C1 all the way down my C6. Now, did you go to a church and have a, a pastor pray over you, or, no. or or how did you receive the healing? I received the Holy Spirit through my body, through me, me myself. I'm a I'm a I'm a healer and I'm a minister, but I've had other people um, also c- confirm the prayer through myself. Thank you so much for calling, and I'm I'm here for if you want to Skype with me, you can reach me at thehealingtrilogy.com, and I'm praying okay. for you right now through the Holy Ghost. Thank you. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Thank you. Thank you. I am 
born a star seed, born in a third dimensional body. In angelic light being, I am here on this earth plane. I am a star seed to assist the earth and humanity with the ascension process. Hi, this is Kimberly Meredith. Welcome to the Angel Awakening CD. I have channeled this album as a gift to you from the angels to help you connect to your gifts and to awaken you to the frequency of the highest dimensions of the Holy Spirit. I have channeled these sacred healings, chants, mantras, meditations, prayers, and messages for you so that you too may be touched by the healing power of God. If you listen and participate with a full joyous heart, you too can experience profound healing and improvement of physical and emotional conditions through the Holy Spirit. To purchase this CD, you can go to thehealingtrilogy.com. May God bless you. In today's three-dimensional world, it's easy to get physically and emotionally sick. Raising your consciousness is crucial to healing. Kimberly Meredith has channeled a healing meditation CD that helps you to heal by helping you to elevate your consciousness. People have been healed just by listening to this CD, which lifts you away from third dimensional pain, worry, and fear, and into the fifth dimensional higher cosmic consciousness, where you can access healing for body and mind as you surrender to the higher self of love and light. For more information, please visit www.thehealingtrilogy.com and click on store. That's www.thehealingtrilogy.com or just Google the Healing Trilogy Meditation Healing CD and Google will connect you. Hi, this is Kimberly Meredith. As a spiritual healer, I'm often asked, Kimberly, can I be healed? The answer is, with God, anything is possible. And yes, you can be healed through the power of God. Your friends and family can be healed. Even animals can be healed. Please visit thehealingtrilogy.com to learn more about my process and my services. My office is located in Sherman Oaks. I offer intuitive medical scans and psychic surgery for you and your loved ones. At the Healing Trilogy, we treat adults, children, and animals. We offer medical scans, mediumship counseling, cold laser acupuncture, cold laser therapy, holistic health, nutritional plans, and many other services. We also have meditation CDs, and I Skype around the world on Fridays. Sign up for my newsletter, and you'll receive a free CD. You'll also be informed about my upcoming healing events. Log on to thehealingtrilogy.com. Bless you. Hi. Welcome back to the Medical Intuitive Miracle Show. I'm Kimberly Meredith, medical medium. Hi. Can I help you? Um, yes, yeah, so my name is Jean, and I was wondering if you can help me with, um, I'm a binge eater, overeater, um, food addict, things like that, and I, I just can't get it under control. Hi, Jean. Um, thank you for uh, tuning into the show, and thank you for being open about what's going on uh, with you with food. Um, that That is something that I do know about. Um, so... How long has this been going on? As long as I can remember. Um, I was bottle fed at a ba- as a baby, and my mother would tell me that I would drink the bottle till I threw up. Okay. <laughs> so even as a young child, I didn't know when to stop. Okay. So uh, may I ask what kind of uh, service you're doing right now for the world? What kind of occupation, work, like wh- wh- what do you do with your daily life? I'm in human resources. Okay. Well, that's a, that's a that's sort of a stressful position. Yeah. Right. And do you um, feel like um, when you're not at work, is that when you're eating, or are you eating when you're at work, or is it always? It's always. It doesn't matter. 
it okay. doesn't the, the environment doesn't matter it's home work or you know out and uh is your mind constantly thinking about food is it just like what you're going to eat next when it's going to be at home are you hiding food under the bed is it like or is you like you keeping it in the drawers at work or um so food is a constant thought but i don't right. hide food i okay. always i always have food with me in case you know i right. i have a craving for something, but I don't hide it. Right. Um, but it's always on my mind. Okay. And when you were little, did you have like a great childhood or was there something traumatic that happened to you around food or uh, was you like my father, my father was an alcoholic Yeah. and I was scared to death of my father. Right. And I, I remember coming home from school and eating and just eating and eating. So it's almost like I eat to soothe myself. Right. Well, I'm going to say something pretty profound right now, and I don't know, I don't know if it's really that profound, but something, someone may think that this may not resonate with them or it might resonate with you, but I don't really feel it's you that's craving the food. I feel that it's another consciousness craving the food and that you are not really craving that food. It's sort of something else that's craving the food. It's just, a, it's, it's, it's sort of, you could say it's, 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 it's a habit that's craving the food, but it's not your habit craving the food. It's another consciousness craving the food. So basically, yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. No, um, I understand because when I get these thoughts, it's like there's an argue, argument in my head. Like right. I'm fighting with someone. I you feel are like. fighting with another conscious. So it's just sort of like when you're an alcoholic or an addict with a gambling or something else. You've had another consciousness enter your body, and that consciousness wants that that food, whether it's alcohol or shoes or gambling or something, and that consciousness needs to leave your body. And once it's left your body, it'll be really you, the birthright of you that came into this world and what you want to do. I'm not quite sure you're even happy with your position you're at right now in your life. The God is blinking on and on and on through me right now. God, God, God. They're so happy you called in right now. I'm so overjoyed you called in and reached out to me because they're saying to me, the real you is about to happen soon oh good okay yeah <laughs> because whatever's going on in you needs to leave and be you and so once you've once you've you've released over um and surrendered over and 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 become who you really are those obsessions leave you praise god they really do leave and then it's really you and it's not really about the diet it's not really about the, the sex, if it's a sex addict. It's not really about the alcohol. It's really about letting go and letting you, who you, the authentic you, really in. Okay. And, and how do I do that? You can email me, find me. Okay. And we would have a personal okay. Skype session. And I can really okay. go into more about what's really going on in a personal session about some things that are attached to you that need to be released out of you. Okay. That sounds wonderful. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Because it's not really you. It's an, it's, it's another energy in you that needs to leave and take your yeah. mind off of that obsession. If you yeah. know what I'm saying okay. right now. Yes. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Very good. So then thank you can so move much. forward. Thank yeah. You. Yes. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, I'm really happy you brought this this, this up because it's more of moving into a higher dimension and leaving those energies away from you and moving into the direction you need to be. Well, well, it's funny that you say it's coming soon because I've been doing so much inner work like in the past couple of years. Um, So it's funny you picked up on that as well. Oh, that that you wanted to move into a different direction with your life? Yes, and that's, you see it happening soon, you said, and things like that. So it's just, it's it's kind of neat that you said all that. Absolutely, they confirmed that. Three three blinks confirmed. Yeah. Okay. Very much Great. so. Okay. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank I you. God bless you. you. Yeah. God, God bless yes, you too. Definitely. Thank okay. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. So um, this was a really great question because um, it's leading. It was leading me into if there's there's not another caller right now. It was it was leading me into um, what is it like to have your own consciousness and not carrying on in your body 
another consciousness. And what is it like to be activated and have a DNA activation in, in your in your body? And what is DNA? We all have different DNAs. We all have strands of DNAs in our body. And what is it like to live in a, in a higher, in, in a DNA higher dimension? And what is it, what does that feel like? So a lot of people hear people say, well, I went to a class, they activated my DNA strands and oh, wow, that was really cool. But it is really happening. People are having their DNA activated to a higher level. So some people will say, well, that sounds really airy fairy. That's kind of way out there, but it's not. We all have DNA. We all have our bodies in different frequencies of DNA. And some people have their activated their, their DNA activated to higher levels. Like I have a, different abilities than some people. Some people are like, wow, that guy's a superstar athlete. Where's his DNA coming from? Okay, so basically what I'm getting at, how do you know when your DNA has been shifted? So here's some signs. You feel a little bit more relaxed and you haven't taken drugs to do that. <laughs> okay, you're less stressed. You have enhanced dreamed activity. You can get into a deeper meditation state. Your soul level has an amazing awareness. You're not obsessing on, if you want to do something like have a drink, it's because you're having it because you want to. You're not obsessively having to drink or do drugs. You need less sleep at times. You're not always having to do tons of sleep. You wake up more refreshed. You have stronger bonds and connections with people, more lovingly connected. You have an increased ESP psychic ability at times. Your intuition increases. This is having a DNA kind of feeling you're, you've been activated, okay? So sometimes when I've done healings on people over and over, and they're my clients, they have a DNA activation. They have increased remote perceptions. They're more in the flow with their life. They feel, wow, I feel like I'm in the zone. Things are just falling in place more. Maybe they take advice from someone because they feel they're intuitively feeling drawn to them and it's working out, okay? Their increased ability to balance their emotions better. They're not being emotionally reactive. They're being more logical, okay? They're moving through blocks and resistances easier. Okay, so this is some things that are just throwing them out there for you guys when you feel like, Maybe you've been having a DNA activation. You don't even know it. It's like, wow, my friends are maybe a little bit more 3D and I'm getting more a little bit into the 5D energy. And you don't even know what's happening to you and it's just happening automatically because maybe you've been hanging out with somebody that's more of that loving spiritual state and you didn't even maybe want to hang out with them, but it just kind of happened. And now you're moving into that energy. So how does this happen? You have your third eye activated. You've had some Reiki energy on you. You've gone to some classes that have worked out for you. Um, your consciousness becomes more fluid and open. Okay, well, it's time for a break. And I'm sending you some activation while you were on a break. Okay, we'll be back. You're listening to the Medical Tutor Miracle Show with Kimberly Meredith. <laughs> This is Kimberly Meredith. As a spiritual healer, I'm often asked, Kimberly, can I be healed? The answer is, with God, anything is possible. And yes, you can be healed through the power of God. Your friends and family can be healed. Even animals can be healed. Please visit thehealingtrilogy.com to learn more about my process and my services. My office is located in Sherman Oaks. I offer intuitive medical scans and psychic surgery for you and your loved ones. At the Healing Trilogy, we treat adults, children, and animals. We offer medical scans, mediumship counseling, cold laser acupuncture, cold laser therapy, holistic health, nutritional plans, and many other services. We also have meditation CDs, and I Skype around the world on Fridays. Sign up for my newsletter, and you'll receive a free CD. You'll also be informed about my upcoming healing events. Log on to thehealingtrilogy.com. Bless you. In today's three-dimensional world, it's easy to get physically and emotionally sick. 
Raising your consciousness is crucial to healing. Kimberly Meredith has channeled a healing meditation CD that helps you to heal by helping you to elevate your consciousness. People have been healed just by listening to this CD, which lifts you away from third dimensional pain, worry, and fear, and into the fifth dimensional higher cosmic consciousness, where you can access healing for body and mind as you surrender to the higher self of love and light. For more information, please visit www.thehealingtrilogy.com and click on store. That's www.thehealingtrilogy.com or just Google the Healing Trilogy Meditation Healing CD and Google will connect you. I am born a star seed, born in a third dimensional body. I am a star seed in angelic light being. I am here on this earth plane. I was sent here to complete a mission. My purpose is to help humanity in some way. I am a star seed to assist the earth and humanity with the ascension process. Hi, this is Kimberly Meredith. Welcome to the Angel Awakening CD. I have channeled this album as a gift to you from the angels to help you connect to your gifts and to awaken you to the frequency of the highest dimensions of the Holy Spirit. I have channeled these sacred healings, chants, mantras, meditations, prayers, and messages for you so that you too may be touched by the healing power of God. If you listen and participate with a full joyous heart, you too can experience profound healing and improvement of physical and emotional conditions through the Holy Spirit. To purchase this CD, you can go to thehealingtrilogy.com. May God bless you. Welcome back to the Medical Intuitive Miracle Show. I'm Kimberly Meredith, your host, and we're getting ready to do the scan now. This is... Anna. Anna. Anna, where did you come from? Oakley. Oakley. Where's Oakley? San Francisco Bay Area. Oh, my God. Did you drive from San Francisco? Yes. My sister uh, drove me. Okay. Wow. Okay. (laughs) Nice to see you from San Francisco today. And are you ready for your scan? Yes. Okay, so we're going to call in the beautiful spirit guides right now, and we're going to do a scan on you. And you've got your hands holding the selenite stones, which are my favorite, and we're going to start to do the scan on you. So everyone at home, we can pray for Anna from Oakley. And here we go. We're calling in the spirit. (sighs) We're going to see what's happening to you. Here we go. And see what they are going to find. And we know we want to have a good healing, too. I do the best I can to help you, Anna, okay? Thank you. I'm going to put my whole heart and body into helping you right now. Here we go. Let's see what we find. And let's keep breathing. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Good job. Good job. The more you breathe, the better. Good job. So what I'm doing is I'm going over her feet, her knees, her gallbladder, her uterus, her organs, her intestinal tract, her upper, lower. I'm going through her whole body looking for things that I need to find information out. Please don't be nervous, relax your body, let the stress go out of the body as much as you can. The less stress you are, the better the scan. Good. And let's have you sit up for me. Great. And just put your arms out like this, just throwing any kind of negative energy off of your body. Just go around. Good job. 
Good. And after I'm done, just kind of beautifully, like just kind of going over your body like this. Just going to scan you like this. I'll give you the information, okay? Very easy. Very light. Very lovingly. Just going to go over you and pick up energy off your body and see what's happening. Good. I am love and I am light. Everyone at home can say, I am love and I am light. 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 Good. Tell the spirits. I am love and I am light. I am love and I am light. Good. I am love and I am light. 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 And look in my eyes. I am love and I am light. 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 Right eye in your thyroid. I am love and I am light. So something I am love and I am light. And I am light. And I am love and I am light. They don't like something in your bladder in your uterus. I am love and I am light. And they don't like something in the back of your head. In the back of your head they're blinking God, God, God. So something happened pretty strong in the back of your skull. They're blinking in the back of your head nonstop. Back here. And then in the back of your neck. And then when I go down into the lower part of your spine, the guides are blinking nonstop, communicating with me from the other side about the lower back, pretty strong, um, especially sort of in the middle part. Um, but in the back of your head, it's going nonstop, communicating this way. Sometimes when it's not good, it's just no. Sometimes when it's okay, it's like yes. Uh, but this time it's just nonstop in the back of your head, going over and over again. And then when I come around uh, in your throat area, it's blinking nonstop in your thyroid. What's going on in your thyroid? I haven't been told there's anything wrong with Yeah, thyroid. there is something going on with your thyroid. And um, put your arms out straight because you're shaking quite a bit. So it's definitely something going on neurologically. So I get a negative blink at the back of your head nonstop uh, right in here. I don't know if you were hit in the head or something. And the negative blink in the back of your spine. And a negative blink in the lower back of you. And a negative blink in your lower intestinal tract. Um, and a negative blink in your pancreas. And a negative blink over by your liver. <laughs> and a negative blink in your knee. And a negative blink in your ankle. And a negative blink in your circulation with your foot. And a negative blink on your left foot and a negative blink on your right foot, and a negative blink in your circulation with your other foot, leg, and a negative blink with your right knee. So do you want to tell me what's going on? I have tremors. But why do you have tremors? You don't just have tremors. <laughs> I've been diagnosed, as I tell you now, that I've been sure. diagnosed. Sure. I've been diagnosed with Parkinson's. Well, that's from the back of your head, inside your skull. So... What is Parkinson's? Uh, a chemical imbalance. Neurological disorder. Neurological disorder, yes. Right. Due to a chemical imbalance. Where? In my brain. In, in your brain. brain. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I'm blinking in the back of your brain, right, right in the center, right about here. Yes. So what are they doing for it? I just started a couple months ago with the uh, Parkinson's medicine. So it's coming from right about in the back of your brain, about right there. And then also, what's going on with your thyroid? Because they're blinking nonstop in your thyroid. Something happened around your throat at some point. I'm not aware of any anything. It's nonstop blinking in your throat. I would definitely get your thyroid checked. checked. Absolutely. And then what about the lower back? It's blinking nonstop in the lower back. Um, I right in the low spine. Yeah. And in your colon. I have not. I have not been diagnosed with anything or told anything about that. Well, you don't have to be diagnosed, but I don't know how your bowel movements are and all that type of stuff. No problems. 
Okay, so let's lay back down. When I'm going into your body, though, when I'm blinking on your body, I also get a negative blink in your pancreas. So when you have uh, Parkinson's, uh, what's going on with your sugar levels? All right. I would yeah. definitely get them checked out. Okay. Also, your lower intestinal tract, what's going on with your uterus? They're blinking nonstop in your uterus. Okay. Do you have a uterus? Yes. Did you ever have fibroids or cysts? No. Good. What about your kidney? Uh, not, nothing that I've been told. Stones? I thought it was... Um, I'm trying to think if it was kidney or, or gallbladder stones. I think it was, I think it might have been kidney stones. I was Because they're blinking on the left kidney. Over here you're okay, but this kidney is not good. Over here on this side, nonstop. I should have a check for stones. <laughs> I don't know if you need to have a check for stones, but all I know is when I go across your body, your thyroid is not good, the back of your brain, which you already said is Parkinson's. When I come down here, they're blinking on your pancreas, it's not great. They're blinking negative. Um, so I'm a, I'm a scanning MRI machine. And everywhere I blink negative, there's absolutely something not great. So either you had it happen before or it's going on now. But right over here on your kidney, they're saying that something absolutely did happen over here. Okay. On this one. Uh, when I come over here, they're saying this knee is not the best. And the yeah. circulation here is not great. And your ankle and your foot has got some sort of neuropathy. I, um, Can you I, speak up, please? I had um, um, uh, playing soccer my earlier days. I tore meniscus on the on my right knee. Right. And uh, that's what's happened. Okay. Today. So, Lisa, I know that. Okay. And why do you have such bad circulation in your legs and neuropathy in your feet? I believe that might be part of my Parkinson's. I believe you're right. Yes. <laughs> And then, okay, uh, I'm not happy about the circulation in the left leg either. And then this, because we don't want you to have a heart attack. Okay. What's your blood pressure like? Uh, normal. When did you have your blood pressure taken last? Um, when I had, went to a Parkinson appointment a couple months ago. Okay. So... Okay, so it looks like I got the right, the right, okay, all right, well, it looks tremors, you didn't write that much, so you mostly tremors, head, right foot, right, drags, oh, the bottom, yeah, so left, leg, knee, yep. yeah. yeah, so I'm getting more into the things that the, the guides don't care about. Okay. Which is your immune system is not great, and your your the kidney, okay. and so let's go back to when you got diagnosed with Parkinson's. I I started tremors a couple of years ago, and I was kind of in denial with about it, and um, it started with my right arm, right, and uh, and I finally went to the doctors uh, in January, right, and uh, they told me I had the classic symptoms of. Parkinson's, and okay. they started me on the Parkinson medicine. Right. And did it get better? Yes. Okay. And that you're still trying to right. Okay. And so, uh, so I'm, uh, I haven't gone to my first appointment yet. It's only been a couple months, and I'm supposed to go back to, the, you know, they've been making adjustments, watching how I'm doing with the medicines. Okay. It, uh, and I think when I get nervous, it, they, it does, my tremors do get Worse. And why do you think that? I don't know. Uh, sometimes when I stress, I, my tremors feel, you know, if I'm uh, worse. But they do come down, you know, with the medicine. I am sleeping better. Right. What kind of water do you drink? Purified water. Okay. I don't have a particular brand that I that I do, that I buy. I just do. I just buy the. So if you were having a session in my office right now, I think that I would basically be telling you that um, you need a lot more oxygen in your brain 
I don't feel your health is 100%. Mm -hmm. I, I don't know what your blood pressure would be, but as I'm scanning over your heart, it's saying negative. And as I'm seeing your legs, your your, your legs are, are blinking negative on both legs here, meaning you're not getting enough circulation. And when I come back to the back of your brain, it's saying negative blink. Mm -hmm. So even if I didn't know saying Parkinson's, MS, cancer, that's a name, but it's really a cause of something that happened to you. Mm -hmm. So basically, your overall body needs certain things to help your brain get more nutrients. So mm -hmm. what do you do for that? Uh, I have, in the last year I've been trying to eat better. Uh, I am to, 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 I've never done vitamins, so I, I do do a vitamin shake okay. every morning, once a day. When you said I'm trying to eat better, the guide said that's not true. <laughs> by, by taking, um, be more conscientious about vitamins, so I, I am trying to do that. Okay, so basically, um, there's some things going on here that, um, yeah, so anyway, I'm just saying that some of the things that yeah. we pick out here are still not being addressed. Okay. Uh, going on just certain spots here that need to be still addressed more so you can play back the replay when mm -hmm. you get home of the show and then say well maybe I need to go get my thyroid check my mm -hmm. vitamin D checked okay. would be something I would say I would say vitamin D needs to be looked at I think you're low in vitamin D I don't know what your vitamin D is do you take vitamin D no yeah, so if you have this condition going on, you need to be on 50,000 IUs of vitamin D per week. Anyone with any neurological disorder needs to have 50,000 IUs per week. Yeah, be really, really great. Um, helps calm the system down. You don't want to go get cancer. You want to make sure your immune system is just boosted. Okay. Um, so anyone that has something like this, you need to boost your immune system. Okay. Yeah. And um, the whole sort of immune boosting diet, no sugar. Right. Sugar is going to make you bounce off the walls, and it's going to make your brain have more twitching. I've been doing honey and blue sugar. Yeah, yeah, and sort of like the boosting, the shakes and things like that too. That's out right. there, are right. not the greatest thing um, to be doing. You have to be careful with the protein shakes. Right. So where I feel like I could lay hands on you, that would be the best thing. Right now, we have a, a few minutes to do this, um, is they're blinking. Once again, uh, also, I would get a UA, a urinalysis of the bladder. Mm -hmm. I don't know what that's like for you, but they're blinking in the lower part of your bladder. Okay. And uh, uh, the ringing in my ears drives me crazy. So the ringing in your ears... You know, that's probably coming from the back of your head having too much inflammation. And I don't know, do you get uh, adjustments of your neck, chiropractic adjustments? No. Or any kind of adjustment with your neck or you're sleeping funny with the pillow or... Because something must have happened to your back of your head. There's no way when I lift up your... Can you sit up for a second? There's no way that you would have this amount of swelling in the back of your head. So this going to your ear over here, I get a lot of right eye blinking on this ear. That's where it started. Yeah, right here, yes. on that ear. Yes. Yeah, the right ear. This one you're okay, no blinking for me. Over here, this is where they're going off the charts. Is going into the center of the back of your skull, causing inflammation into the front of your head, going into your throat, leading down to your heart, going down to the bladder, going into your knee, going into your legs and causing inflammation here. So I don't want you to have a stroke. <laughs> so basically, um, this is counterballing. Some place I feel you may have bumped the back of your head. Okay. I, yes. I, I don't remember. Yeah. You, it, yes. yeah. yeah. Might have taken much. <laughs> oh, no. Could have been when you were very, very yeah. little. Okay. Yeah, very, very little. A lot of people, you know, they have Alzheimer's, they have dementia, and it's not that. It's like a hit they had when they were very young even. And then they don't remember, you know, there's what can I do football players that have things. Go ahead, Spirit. What can I do for, for the inflammation that I... Oxygen. Oxygen. Food and oxygen, ozonated water, all kinds of great things out there that people are getting better and better. There's a brain vitamin I just found out about called Dolivent. This vitamin is amazing. It helps the brain. 
and people are, are getting great results on it. So let's turn over and let's do a healing on your head. And everyone's rooting for you right now. Okay. We're all I guess we see. Yeah, so let's do that. Because I'm I'm a spiritual chatterbox. Okay. Okay, so we're all gonna pray for you. Here we go. Let's see if we, the swelling can come down because your swelling uh, is your your head is swollen a little bit in the back. Here we go. San Francisco. Here we come. Are you ready? Yes. I I bet I know what you're gonna pray. Are you gonna pray? Yes. The Hail Mary. The Our Father. The Our Father. Okay. Here we go. And everybody at home, we can all pray together, or wherever we are, in this big, big, big worldwide. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us from every evil, dear God, and grant us peace on this earth. Thy is the kingdom and glory of yours and mine forever. Amen. And by taking a deep breath and releasing this energy out of your body, Hashem, Hashem, Hashem. Hashem, Hashem, Hashem. Out of your body. Say, out of my body. Out of my body. Out of the room. Out of the room. And out of the universe. And out of the universe. Amen. Amen. Good. Good. Releasing all negative energy through mind, body, and spirit and out of the universe forever. Amen. Amen, amen. So be it, so be it. Oh, man. Good. Keep breathing. I am blessed and I am healed. I am blessed and I am healed. And knowing that you're a beautiful angel and that you've helped so many people yourself, and I'm getting chills through my hands and my arms and my legs and my lips, I know that the Holy Spirit is going through my body right now. Good. And keep breathing. Oh, Good, you're doing great. Ah. Good. Ah. Good. Amen. Ah. Amen. Good, she's being healed. Ah. Great job. Ah. Ah. Good, honey. Hail Mary, ah. full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou, my Lord. Ah. Blessed be thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mother Mary of God, pray for us now. Pray for us now. Good. I release the pillow off of you. Good. Go right in the back of your neck. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, blessed foot of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mother Mary of God, pray for us now. Pray for us now. Good. Good, honey. Mother Mary of God, pray for us now. Good, good, honey. Good, good. Good. Keep breathing. You're healing the back of your neck, too. You're doing good. Good. Breathe the, the, the Spirit through your body. Breathe the Holy Spirit through the body. Beautiful. Good job. Good. Let's turn over. Good. And say, I am healed. I am healed. I am love and I am light. I am love and I am light. Good. I am healed. I am love and I am light. I am healed. And I am we can all say we are love and we are light. We are love and we are light. We are love and we are light. We are love. And we are light. Good. We are love and we are light. Good. We are love and we are light. We're releasing that energy off your throat. Good. 
in our love. Releasing yeah. the chains that bind us off of our throat. Love, Good. And breathe and swallow. Good shot. And release your hand. Good. How are you feeling? Good. Relaxed. Good. Keep breathing. Good job. <sighs> Good. Everybody, I feel all everybody <sighs> praying for you too. You're doing really great. Great. Great <sighs> job. Great. Great. I am going to keep sending you love and energy and light. We're praying on your heart. Praying on your heart. Good. Keep praying on your heart. And they're giving me a message to you that, you know, you're taking care of a lot of other people out there. Is that true? Yes. A lot of people. Yes. So it's okay to, you know, take care of you also. You know, and I want to keep in contact with you. We can do Skyping. You don't, you know, because I know you don't live close by. So you can keep in contact with me through Skyping. Yes. Um, also, um, well, this feels better right now going through your body right now. I'm getting great, great scan. So we're almost, uh, we have three more minutes and we're... Um, Everybody that's watching out there, I'm getting a better scan. Um, do you want to say anything about how you're feeling from the spirit going through your body? Feeling light in my body. Okay. Feeling light through your body. Let me see your eyes. <laughs> Good. I also want to announce that we had a, an event at the church um, was called All We Need Is Love. Did you happen to watch that event or no? No, I did not. You didn't? Okay. And we, we picked a uh, person for the raffle. Her name was Sally Cox. And I just want to know if Sally Cox is listening, you are the raffle winner. <laughs> so sh she gets a free medical intuitive scan and healing or a um, Skype session. So Sk Sally Cox is a special winner from the church uh, uh, event that we had. The All We Need Is Love Church event. So if Sally Cox wants to contact the Healing Trilogy, you can call us um, or email us. And um, if you want to stay in touch with us after this, um, by all means do. We can still keep following up with our sessions. And I'm going to be sending you a full-blown Healing Trilogy um, supplement program of what water we'd like you to do, vitamin D, um, what things we suggest for you to eat, um, vegetables, proteins, things that I feel that would be right for you, what kind of probiotic plan to take, and things that I think that would be right to help you along with your healing. Okay. And that I truly feel the spirit went through the body just now. The back of your head, if you can sit up for a second, um, feels much better back here as I'm going through it. Um, I do feel if you ever want to come back down here, I could do some additional healing with the oxygen. But on my supplemental plan agreement, I do have things that you can purchase to get some more oxygen in your head, like ozonating your water. Um, but I do feel when I'm going through your head now, I'm getting a positive blink in the back of your head right now. Let's put your hands up and breathe. And let's say thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, God. Thank you, Kimberly. Yes, thank you, thank the you. holy, holy, holy one, the holy, beautiful, divine, because the divine God is doing the healing and just working through me um, to do the healing. And thank you all who prayed for me. Yes, and thank you for everyone out there that's praying, and we're all praying with each other. And next time we're on the show, feel free to call in for helping for prayer requests and because we're all, we're all helping each other here on this show. We really, really appreciate you listening and tuning in every Tuesday night. We really, really, really appreciate this, that you're listening to our show and helping us um, stay on the air. Thank you so much. God bless you for watching the Medical Intuitive Miracle Show. Thank you.